Hi guys, it's Night Fear, and I'm coming on today to do my wrap-up for Sabathon. This is the second round. Um, there were five challenges, and I completed three of them, um, and I started one of the books for one of them, and I'm just going to kind of briefly tell you what I'm feeling about it so far. Um, so the first challenge was Blue on the Cover. And for that one, I read A Beautiful Wedding by Jamie McGuire. Um, this is book, uh, I think it's two and a half, um, from the Beautiful Disaster series, or the Beautiful series, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but the first book was Beautiful Disaster, which I absolutely loved. This is their, this is the story of a wedding, and it's more like a novella, it's very short, um, and, and I enjoyed it. Um, I gave it four stars. Didn't enjoy it as much as the first book, but I still enjoyed it. I liked being back with these characters. Um, and yeah, and so I've completed, um, oh, excuse me, finished this series. And now I'm going to move on to the series, um, that, uh, is about his brothers, which I can't wait because I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I like the characters. I like, kind of like the world. So yeah, I'm excited about continuing. Then the next challenge was as a nostalgia read. Now for this one, I picked Sea Witch Rising by Sarah Henning. This is the second one. The first book was Sea Witch, which I really, really enjoyed. I believe I gave it four stars. I might've given it five, but I I think I gave it four. Um, I also gave this one four stars, even though I didn't like this one as much as I did the other one. Um, but it's kind of cool because the other one is all about the Ursula character, and we find out, you know, how she becomes Ursula. This one is more of the Little Mermaid story. So, you know, it's the, it's a re, it, this one is the retelling of the Little Mermaid, pretty much. Um, yeah, so, it, I mean, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure if there... I don't think there's going to be another one. Um, it doesn't seem like it anyway, and I haven't seen anywhere where it's, there's going to be a third, so I think this is just a duology. Uh, but if you like Little Mermaid, I would I would definitely highly recommend these two books. Um, but like I said, I gave it four stars. Oh, yeah. And I didn't cry during A Beautiful Wedding, and I didn't cry any during this one. I mean, there were sad parts in this one, um, but yeah, I didn't cry. Um, but like I said, um, it's, it was really a, a very, very good duology, but I really enjoyed both books. So the next one is a book you've put off because it will make you emotional. And for that one, I picked A Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. Now, this one is told in verse. Um, it is about a boy whose brother is gunned down, and he makes a decision. He gets in the elevator, and there are surprising people who join him on the way down on this elevator. Um, I did not cry during this one, but I did have feelings. Um, it was well written. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I gave it five stars. I will, I am planning on looking for some more of this author's writing. I really like the way he wrote um, and the ideas that he um, brought up in this book. So, I, and it was a really short read because even though it's, it's, I mean, it's not that thick, but it, it was told in verse. So you, you know, it's really quick to read. There's some some pages. There's very little word. So, but yeah, it's really good. And yeah, long way down. I'm very glad I read this one. And those are the only ones that I completed for the readathon. Um, I did not start the group. This the last challenge was read the group book, which is Girls on the Verge. I did not start that book. Um, I have recently read a book um, about abortion. Um, and I just was not in the mood. I will eventually read it. Um, I just not, I'm not sure when. Um, so yeah, but then the other one, the other challenge was a book featuring a main character that shares a major identity with you. Now, for any of those of you that have been on this channel for a while, you know that I am a Mormon. I am a member of the Church of Christ, or Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints. So, 
um, I chose uh, a book that features Mormon characters. Um, and that is a song for Issy Bradley, Brad, Bradley, Bradley by Carrie's Bray. Um, now, I did find out some things. The author was a Mormon for the first 30 years of her life. Um, and this book is focusing on a Mormon family where the head of the family is the bishop for one of the wards. Um, something tragic happens. Uh, and this is how kind of the family deals. Um, the mom is a convert, which means she was not born into the Mormon faith. And so, yeah. Um, and as you can see, I'm not that far into it. Um, but what I am reading, I am enjoying. Um, I haven't cried yet. I came close. So I have a feeling that if any of them um, is going to make me cry, it's going to be this one. Uh, I'm sad that I didn't get this finished. I had several days that I didn't read anything at all um, during this readathon, and I'm just I don't know I'm having I'm in a weird place with my reading. Um, I mean I was averaging about 200 between 200 and 300 pages every day, uh, and I haven't been doing that lately. So this week I don't have any readathon, so I'm just kind of reading what I want to, and hopefully I'll be able to get back into reading a lot. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a, um, a Mormon story, I would highly recommend this book, at least so far, um, because everything's been pretty accurate, um, as far as the way, um, that we believe, the way that we, you know, see things, pretty accurate so far. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to tell you about this book in case you were curious, um, because in case you watched my TBR and were curious, was curious, so... But yeah, I definitely will be finishing that one. Um, and that's it. Um, kind of failed. Well, no, not really. Not really failed. Just didn't do a, as good a job as I wanted to. But I was very happy to participate um, in this. Um, I do like to... I mean, I do cry um, sometimes with books. Uh, and, you know, a good cry is, is good. And But these just... I made bad choices. <laughs> Um, not, I mean, the books were good, but just made bad choices f as far as, um, crying goes. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please remember to always be kind to one another, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!